Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, it's time to drop the hammer. We're off and running. Bacon's going to take him down into the corner. Here comes Justin Grant back behind the number four car. Working at number two spot. Cummins down low in the three yard. Two wide back behind and a good drive for Jake Swanson. Keep your eye on the 21 AZ. Got her throttled up down low for Swanson. He's going to tuck her into the guardrail. Getting down into turn number three. Little company coming to the outside, but up front it's Bacon across for lap number one. Swanson. Jake, Jake Swanson's had a hot rod all day long. This evening, make it sing now as Brady Bacon's out front. Boy, Kevin Thomas Jr. tried something down to the inside. He was going to try to pull on Kyle Cummins, the 3R car, and unfortunately slipped out wide and gave up two spots. Has that allowed Mitchell Moles in the 19AZ to get through? He moves into the number P5. Is up front. It's one, two, three, four, five cars singled out. And then a horde down in the car lookout. Got jacked up there. Kevin Thomas Jr.'s car shut down. On the front straightaway, that lost fire for Kevin Thomas Jr. And he took a shot in the shorts that rattled my teeth. So he drops back down to the inside. That allows Justin Grant to close in the number four car. And here comes the three, 21 AZ and Jake Swanson along as well. Now Brady Bacon have a little bit of trouble getting around the Paragon champion. And here comes Justin. Down to the inside, new race leader Justin slides up. Butter of Maddox stops his flow. There goes Bacon back to the number one spot. Another slider with Justin Grant, with Brady Bacon in the picture. And back behind Jake Swanson, watch that all go down. He's still running P3, top three cars have broken out away from fourth on the field, which is in the hands of Kyle Cummins. Mitchell Moles back behind, rounds out the top five, but it is high speed, high stakes, getting around Terre Haute action track. It looks down to the inside, can't quite pull it off. He'll let Bacon get by on the outside. Swanson back behind, taps the binders. Look out, they almost come together out of turn number two. Jake Swanson was just moving to the inside as Grant was gonna go down low on Carson Garrett. Yeah, now Jake goes low, trying to get around Justin Grant as they cross the start-finish line. And get across there, Brady Bacon getting out the way from him now as they battle with each other. Cal Cummins is right there, back behind now. Trails Jake Swanson by about the same margin that you see between Swanson and Grant. Further back, Mitchell Moles works to the outside of Carson Garrett. Gets around him, he'll too and enter the fray for one of those podium positions. But up front, still the Brady Bacon show as we go halfway that time by, 15 to go. He's back behind. Cal Cummins able to make a move and pick off Jake Swanson. Swanson may be fading as a caution comes out. He is for Jake Swanson. Oh, man. I saw that. I kind of looked back, and Cal Cummins hadn't gotten around him. And then all of a sudden, he was around him very quickly. And lo and behold, that's not Jake Swanson. Sorry, that's the number four. Oh, my goodness. Justin Grant stopped on the top of turn number two. And Tommy's waving the green flag. Yeah, green flag's out. We're back underway. Down into turn number one and two. Here comes Jake Swanson down the inside. Oh, Mitchell Moles with a bold move. Look out. Gets into Cal Cummins. High side of the racetrack. Ricochets off the wall. Max Adams enters the fray. He gets around Leary out of turn number two and down the back straightaway. The gloves have come off at Terre Haute. The gloves have come off. Here comes Jake. Gets it sideways. Cal Collins is a little bit fired up right now for the three R cars. The caution comes out. He punches the throttle. We are back underway. And Jake Swanson looked to be hanging right with him. Here comes Cal Cummins down the inside. Cummins deep into turn number one. Look out. Clip the apron down low. Slide job. Swanson trying to turn it back down low. Can't quite get there. Here comes Mitchell Moles back into the fray now. The 19 AZ working the low line. going to pick off the 21 AZ down turn number three and four and onto the front straightaway. Cummins up to P2. Can see Brady Bacon out front. Can he get to him? That's the question. Swanson had her biked up. Lofted it down into turn number one. Can't quite make the move on the 19 AZ. He'll settle back into the number four spot. Behind him running fifth on the field. Still C.J. Leary. Catch it on lap traffic down into turn number three. He'll bring it around this time and see the white flag out of turn number four. Two lap cars to contend with, much to his chagrin. He doesn't know how close his competition is. Little does he realize they are back by over six seconds to the 69 car. So he'll fire it down into turn number two and head down the back straightaway for the final time here at the 53rd running of the Tony Holman Classic. Terry Hood Action Track, he's got a lot of wins here. He has never won the Holman. That changes tonight. Is out of turn number four he comes. Checkered flag for the macho man, Brady Bacon. Good day, Up sir. and out of the car he comes. Make some noise, race fans, for Brady Bacon. 
We'll send it down with Drake York. A very special night for the Macho Man, Brady Bacon. He's won a lot of big races in his career, but the Tony Holman Classic has always eluded him. Tonight, he finally gets it done. Pat, you talked about the other historical aspect of this. He is now in sole possession of third all-time on the win list with the Amsoil USAC National Sprint Cars with his 48th feature triumph. Talking with Matt Hummel, and he'll get decorated by USAC's Keegan Flat. Saw Tommy Estes right there coming in to congratulate Brady. Here he is around the front of the car race fans. The Macho Man, your winner in the Tony Holman Classic. Brady, you have knocked off so many big wins in your career, but you just haven't been able to nag one of the biggest non-wing win wins of your career. What does this one mean to you being such a historic race? Yeah, this is really cool. You know, we've won here a couple times, but this, none of those races are as big as this one, the Holman Classic. Um, such a long history with USAC and sprint car racing in general. Uh, you know, this used to be the biggest race of the year, and um, just glad to win it. It's, it's tough to get wins on these, you know, historical tracks, and, uh, you know, we hit it right tonight, got to start on the front, and uh, just got, could kind of set my own pace and uh, kind of conserve my stuff a little bit. It made me nervous when, I don't know why Justin had a flat there, but I was like, well, maybe I'm going too hard on my stuff, and then I started feeling... You know, some stuff here and there, which was probably not even there. Just get a little, you know, uh, paranoid. But uh, thanks for my guys. And, you know, we haven't really got to get in the rhythm this year with the sprint car yet at the Hoffman team. But, uh, you know, obviously we're going to race a lot here coming up. And hopefully we can keep this momentum going. Thanks. Uh, my family's not here. We only got two more days of school left. So then uh, everyone gets to see the kids on the road. And uh, I'll be glad when they can be with me all the time and uh, looking forward to that. And hopefully we can pick off another uh, couple wins this week. And, you know, it's Big win, $10,000, the rifle, so it's a good, good way to start the week. Lap traffic seemed to be your kryptonite. You got stuck behind a couple cars for multiple laps, and then Justin was able to get to you. How stressful is that behind the wheel, knowing a guy like Justin Grant is coming for you in traffic? Yeah, I just caught that one guy wrong a couple times and then didn't get a good run to slide him and just put myself in a bad spot. I probably just wasn't, wasn't aggressive enough and just should have just done it and forced the issue a little bit more. But uh, it was early in the race, and I... Was still kind of feeling out what uh, the pace that I needed to be, but thankfully we, we stayed ahead of him. No collisions tonight, and uh, we were able to hold on for the win. Brady Bacon, his 48th Amsoil USAC National Sprint Car win, and it comes in one of the biggest races of the season.